Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. That one goes out to Detlef. You didn't think I'd do it, but I did. All right. Reason for this video is uh, Jameson is having a sort of a big sub contest um, in which he has uh, 10 questions, do a video response, answer the, uh, the questions to get in, thus the getting to know you song. Um, in case you don't know his channel, it's uh, uh, Jameson Kane, and if you can't spell that, think James on Kane. Um, and you should be able to figure it out. Either way, I will put a link in the doobly-doo. Um, but let's get on to the 10 questions. Question 1. How did you get started in the hobby? Uh, how did I get started? I... I got started in the... Well, it's weird. It depends on how you justify the hobby. If it's hobby in terms of painting miniatures and models and stuff like that. I've been doing that since I was little. Um, I'm kind of a geeky, nerdy type kid uh, growing up, so, well, I'm still a geeky, nerdy person anyways. Um, so yeah, doing uh, model ships, cars, planes, and such like that was um, something that I like to do um, when I could afford it. I think that started off because of Robotech, believe it or not. Um, I loved the cartoon. And because Robotech, the um, the models that we had over here um, were literally models that you had to put together. Um, I got into the models because of that, I think. And then later on, as I started getting into fantasy, I started picking up um, Ral Partha minis and stuff like that, and, and Advanced Dungeons and Dragons minis and such. Um, so that's when I started getting getting into the miniature painting. When it comes to the say Games Workshop type um, wargaming. And that portion of the hobby, I got into that um, come uh, university. I'd always been into gaming, be it video games, board games, you know, card games and such. Um, but when it came to getting into actual war gaming, um, it wasn't until third edition came around. Um, I didn't like, like I knew about Games Workshop, I knew about uh, Warhammer and stuff, but I thought it looked so childish and cartoony that I didn't I wasn't gonna get into it I, I didn't like it I didn't like the miniatures um, so it wasn't until third edition when the orcs completely went from the you know the crazy red colorful cartoony face banners to more of the Gorka Morka styled uh, rough and tumble um, orcs and because I had uh, a friend in university who was uh, big into playing and he had you know like he had a like a shadow or one of those big tanks and stuff and you had a whole imperial guard army and a whole um uh space marine army and i don't know if he had anything else but he had uh, uh hero quests and stuff like that um as well and so when you know a third edition came around i decided i i was gonna pick orcs he, he got the uh the main rule book and i like the way they look so I started getting into the hobby. It just how it happened that Gorka Morka was uh, being discontinued, so Gorka Morka boxes were going on uh, dirt cheap sale. So I picked up a couple of those and quickly built up enough to uh, have an army I could play with. Question two: Are you a gamer or a hobbyist? Am I a gamer or a hobbyist? Um, I'm a little bit of both. Um, and. When I want to get together with friends, I'm a gamer. We have a regular group that we're trying to do. We're kind of waiting until the new rules come out before we kick up again because we did have a little bit of a campaign thing going on, um, but we've put that off to the side and we're waiting for the new rules. But I'm also a hobbyist in the sense that um, I like my alone time. I like to be uh, able to just sit back, relax, work on you know miniatures and stuff by myself and not have to worry about anybody else. So I'm a bit of both. I wouldn't say I'm more one than the other to any huge amount but if I had to lean one way or the other I'd probably say I'm more of a hobbyist seeing as how I don't get out to game quite as much as you know um, just doing up the painting but at the same time my army <laughs> still isn't painted it still isn't even put together and it's been like 10 years so how can I call myself really a hobbyist right question three what was the first model you assembled and painted? 
the first model I assembled and painted. Again, um, if it's a model, we'll go to Games Workshop, and I think I may actually still have it. It's the only, probably one of the only ones I've actually completely painted. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, out of the Gorka Morka boxes, the first thing I painted up was this bad boy. Orc truck. It's still sporting the original paint job. And go figure after not liking the colorful silliness of the paint jobs beforehand, I kind of gave it a colorful silly paint job, which I am going to redo because this is, I mean, this is tabletop and it, it's better than a lot of the tabletop that people put out there. But at the same time, it's, I like realistic and this is not realistic, especially not for orcs. I mean, the paint job is immaculate. It's perfect. What orc has a perfect paint job? I mean, I even carved in battle damage, but I never painted the battle damage. Anyways, that was the first one I ever did, I think, to completion. Question four. Question four, what is your favorite paint? And I think he's looking in terms of paint line and not like a color. Um, truth be told, I haven't used all of the paints. I've used some of them. I mostly use GW simply because it was convenient. Um, at the time, I used to paint using uh, the acrylic art paints and uh, testers model paints. I don't like the testers model paints compared to the, the acrylic paints that are out there. Uh, too messy, too hard to clean. Um, but I mean, every paint has its uses. Every paint line has its uses. Um, right now, I'm kind of leaning towards the Reaper paints because I like their triads, the way they've set that up. And I'm also going towards, I think it's Vallejo has uh, the game color, seeing as how Games Workshop has changed their colors and their whole paint system, um, which is a little different. I think some of it is good, some of it is bad. I know what they're trying to do, and I applaud them, but at the same time, they've taken away options. Um, and for that reason, I think I'm leaning towards the Vallejo game color so I can get the colors that I've already decided to paint things and continue painting them uh, that way if I so choose. Um, but yeah, if I was going to say a line, I'd go with Reaper right now because I do like the triads. Mm -hmm. Question five. How would you rate yourself as a painter? How would I rate myself as a painter? Well, I'm not a 10 golden demon and I'm not a one I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'd say maybe six, maybe seven. Um, I don't really paint enough. Uh, if I had an airbrush and I could start working on that, I'd say I'd bump myself up to an eight. Uh, but I don't, and I hate using the spray cans. I live in a condo, I don't have an outdoors to use it in, and generally I have to paint in my kitchen. Um, so I paint with a spray can on there. As you know, spray can paint sort of goes everywhere, um, so it gets on everything and it's a pain in the ass to clean, forgive my language, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not the greatest of painters. Uh, I should probably make some kind of a paint box or something like that to paint in. But uh, I don't have a lot of room considering I'm in a condo, so I generally just grab whatever cardboard box I have lying around, paint, you know, do my base coats in that, and then throw it out. But uh, if I had an airbrush that was a little bit more precise, uh, I'd probably be able to increase my painting skill because I'd be doing a lot more painting. Question six. What are your goals as a painter? My goals as a painter would be to get an airbrush. That's my goal. My goal is to get an airbrush good enough that I don't need to upgrade later, um, but small enough that I can put it in here and not have to worry about it. Um, and then obviously get my airbrush, learn how to do the airbrush, get really good with it, and then, uh, yeah, get to painting the rest of my minis. Because I got thousands of them. Thousands. And they're just sitting there. They're not even unpainted. They're unbuilt. 
They're nothings. They're in boxes. I gotta paint them. So send your money uh, to Rob, uh, care of um, Mordaco 101. Um, I like crisp $100 bills, uh, but I will take anything, and we'll put that towards my airbrush fund. Question number seven. What does your wife, girlfriend, partner think of your hobby? Um, well, my girlfriend, what does she think of it? She probably thinks I spend too much money on it. She thinks I spend too much money, period. But that's what I do. I buy stuff. It makes me happy. Uh, other than that, um, until I get two armies painted up and get her into it, you know what, she might even play. She's, she's uh, into a lot of things that I am. Um, I could probably get her into fantasy more. She loves dragons, so um, if I could get uh, some fantasy armies together, I think I could actually get her into the hobby. Um, so, other than that, she hasn't really commented about it. She just knows sometimes I get together with some friends and play a game. Question 8. Have you experienced any ridicule due to your hobby? Have I experienced any ridicule? Um... The only thing I can say uh, would be ridicule would be how my uh, sister and her husband and uh, my mom and stuff call it um, uh, are you playing with your little guys or are you are you you know painting up your little guys and I think you know they looked at it down looked down upon it a little derogatory though I did take my sister to um, Warhammer World and I think she's gotten a little bit more perspective on it and just what exactly it is and what level um, it can get to considering she was a little impressed at what some of the guys had done um, with and what they've created there um, so she didn't realize how big it was and uh, what it was like so she just thought it was a game and toys and models and stuff um, but yeah they still call them the little guys that's about as close as I've gotten to any ridicule or anything like that nobody's really ridiculed me for it question nine have you ever thought of giving up the hobby um, you know what? I ne I never give up the. Ho I've had all my stuff for since I started. Um, I've never given up the hobby, but I've gone on hiatus. Um, be it because I just didn't have anybody to play, I didn't have any time, I didn't have whatever, whatever the reason. Um, it gets on the back burner. I mean, even right now, it's a little on the back burner. I'm doing more video games than I am uh, the tabletop wargaming stuff. But at the same time, I'm just more lining stuff up because um, I want to shoot them in video. I want to do everything and, and let you guys see how it's done, uh, give you tips and pointers on how to do it. Um, I've been doing it for enough, <laughs> enough years to uh, be able to give some of my knowledge to you. And so instead of just doing it and saying, hey, look what I painted, I'm going to actually um, do the step-by-step -step and let you know how to do it, but that takes time. It takes planning, and instead of just sh shooting random stuff, I, I want it to look good. I want it to look uh, professional so that you get the most out of it. And that's kind of why you haven't seen a lot of videos with relation to uh, tabletop wargaming. Um, a, because I haven't done a lot, and B, because I want to do it right. So that's why. Never really thought of giving it up. I don't think I'll ever give it up. Uh, even if I needed the money and stuff like that, I could probably sell myself on street corner um, and make enough money to eat. So, um, if it worse comes to worse, I think prostitution is the way I'm going to go. Question 10! Is there a cuter wargamer than Joey Warhammer? I didn't know who Joey Warhammer was until you posted the video. And I'm... It took me a while to figure out, find it, and I guess it was Warhammer Joey or whatever other name she goes to by. Um, is there a cuter? Um, I don't know. I'm sure there is. Um, she's a very attractive woman. She's very cute. I'll give her that. And she, she's got, got some crazy videos on there. I've subscribed now uh, since you posted your, your, your subscriber question video. Um, but I've seen some cuter Wargamers. I don't know that they make YouTube videos, but I've seen some cuter wargamers. 
nothing against Joey, of course, because, hey, the girl's got it going on. She's a cute wargamer. I'll give her that. Don't know that she's my type, though I did like it when she had that silver hat on her head. That was hot. Till next time, this is for Jameson. Subscribe to his channel, or at least check it out, and um, I'm sure you'll, you'll like it. Um, straight up dude, and uh, congratulations on the subs. Here's to many more. This is Rob for Mordaco 101.